everybody it's misfit with the crow's airsoft group and today i got a two mystery box unboxings today this one's from evike this one's from airsoft gi this is the box of awesomeness uh flash sale 300 dollars from evike and this is the bigger wins version 6 from airsoft gi uh, which is 220 dollars so 520 dollars between the two uh, I'm going to talk about each real quick. All right, let's first talk about the Airsoft GI Bigger Wins YouTube Unboxing Airsoft Mystery Box version 6, which only has 210 boxes available. Uh, they have all sorts of little raffles that you get entered and uh, things that you could win. Uh, this one doesn't have a set list of things that you could win. The only thing that you can do, and it says somewhere around here, um... You know, if there's something you're specifically interested in, I say, if you buy, oh man, I don't know. I say, if you leave a comment in the notes about what you wish to get, Cisco might grant your wish. So, um, you know, within reason, it's only $210 or $220. So obviously you're not going to get um, something too big. I mean, it's possible, but uh, I think they're going to keep it within a certain amount of... Uh, a price point so of course I asked for uh, HK416 a UMP45 or a USP um, any mixture or you know obviously they can mix it up and add different things so that's what I asked for and that's um, that's what we're gonna go through right now alright so first up we're gonna start with the Airsoft GI uh, bigger wins version 6 um, as stated before it was um, in the notes in the description it states to uh, you know put what you want inside the, the notes so and they might grant your wish so I asked for an H&K 416 or a US, UMP or USP um, you know I'm got everything I really need so I just figured something fun something different um, so I'm really hoping for a UMP or I don't have a pistol, so a USP would be really cool too, but hey, the 416 is always nice to have. I do need a new field rifle, so here's a, here's to hope and right. So let's keep in mind this is um, $220. Let's get to it. All right. So right off the bat, we got a um, nice little forward grip. See, uh, we'll put the price on that right there. We got a Lancer Tactical, some sort of optic. Let's see what this one is. All right. Looks like... Uh, Let's see. Viz Z Reflex or whatever the heck this thing's called. Anyway, looks like a short red dot sight. Pretty cool, pretty clean. I like it. On off. We'll put the price there. Let's get that cleaned up. Uh, here's the receipt. Just trash. Um, I see the rifle box. Let's see if there's anything else inside before we pull this bad boy out. It's pretty small. Um, H and K, baby, no compromise. Powered by Umarex. So let's get the box out of the way. The seat out of the way, and let's see what we got from Cisco. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the 416. That's what it says right there. Check it out. 416 A5 competition. Nice little uh, little manual. Got the gun. It's completely sealed in plastic. Let's bust it out. Free it from its cage. You know, funny enough, I actually have a 416 that I'm building from the ground up with um, A and K metal body, but I'll see how that goes. Uh, looks like we got a mid cap here with some nice little writing on here, Heckler and Coke, Germany 556, 
really nice. All right. So this is the competition model. So all polymer, flip up sight. That's really cool. A little sight just kind of goes flush with the uh, with the rail. Quick uh, quick attach point here. Nice little H and K stock. Really comfortable grip. Oof. Ambidextrous controls. That's nice. Ambidextrous bolt release. There you go. Rotary style hop up. Oh wow, it's an ambidextrous mag release too. So normal uh, bolt releases here, but you can also hit this. Wow, that is nice. And in the tan color. So if you guys see my gear video, you'll know my, uh, my current field rifle is tan as well. So hey, check it out. Pretty clean. And we got some attachments to go with it. So let's get this thing dressed up and see how they, uh, how they made out with. All right, check it out, guys. This is it, fully furnished. We got the little grip on here. We got this nice uh, Lancer Tactical uh, sight here. There it is. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna post some uh, shooting videos of uh, me chronoing it. See how it is. See how it feels. Uh, we'll also look into some more details about it, but you know, I really appreciate, man. This the gun by itself is two hundred and fifty dollars, so that's thirty dollars more than I paid for the. Uh, box so we definitely profited here guys that's awesome so all in all uh, the contents inside this 220 dollars mystery box uh, went up to 300 dollars 306 dollars and that's but you know not including tax so it would be more than that after tax so that's a profit of uh 70 bucks or 80 bucks whatever pretty awesome i really appreciate it that's uh Let's get into the next box. Now let's talk about the Evike, the Box of Awesomeness Flash Edition release, the two hundred or three hundred dollar box or two ninety nine, uh, October eleventh, twenty twenty two. So this one uh, all does actually give you a list of things that you could win in the box. Uh, there's ninety two boxes available, and here you'll see that each um, box may contain. It basically, they contain the grenade launcher, a hat, a pistol, a single card, not a whole deck, and a single patch. Uh, the thing that changes is the rifle or submachine gun or whatever, the, the main rifle. And you'll see the playlist of prices there. And they also list the amount of winners. So there's going to be two winners of this, two winners of this, ten winners of the P90, ten winners of this EMG Silent Arms. So uh, you have all sorts of different things, and they kind of add, add it up for you. So... All these, you get at least $200 in uh, prizes, so let's check it out. All right, guys, this next box is the Evike uh, Box of Awesomeness Flash Deal. It was only, uh, I think there was only a limited amount. I'll talk about it. Well, I should have just finished talking about it, so you'll see. Uh, we had a different range of different kind of rifles, but all the other little accessories are already kind of included. The grenade launcher, pistol, hat, etc. The only thing that really... Uh, differed was the um, main rifle that was included so oof, let's see how lucky we got this thing weighs 15 pounds and that's all the stuff that was included it's a smaller box than the other one but it weighed more so um, let's see what we ended up winning look at that all right awesome evike.com multiple 15 percent off coupons Go ahead and use those if you want. Flyer 15. So, uh, this is no means uh, some you know competition between the two. I just I really like Evike. I really like Airsoft GI. So this is my first uh, mystery boxes. So I just wanted to get one of each and see how it went. So. Whoa! All right. So here's the little hat, and it's got Velcro, so you can put little patches in there. Uh, let's talk about this cyber gun. I believe this is the grenade launcher. 
You know, this thing would look really sick on that HKK. Oh, with the tan. That is really cool. I actually don't know how to operate this thing. I'll figure it out. I do have grenades, because I do have that uh, little CQB grenade launcher, but this is awesome. All right, very cool. So every mystery box includes uh, these accessories. I said the only thing that really changes is the main gun, and I can already see that we got a classic army. And I think there was only one classic army in the options, so we'll get into that in a second. Next up is another little Colt Cyber Gun. This is the 1911 pistol. Man, I'm getting really lucky with these tan um, little cards. I like these little cards that they have. These tan uh, guns. Man. All right, we got ourselves a nice little 1911. Metal slide, all metal. Uh, let's see if it is green gas. All right, I'll uh, post some shooting videos of this too, see how this goes. This is really nice, I don't have a pistol, so. Oh, shit, I do now, or do I? We'll see. Actually. All right. That's awesome, really clean. Feels really good, really heavy. Um, I like how it feels, I'll see how it shoots. I don't have really good luck with green gas stuff, but we'll see how it goes. And we got ourselves a little patch, Airsoft Summer Palooza High Ground Airsoft. Those are cool. Little hex, hex things, all right. Um, into the main event. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Classic army. Oh, I wonder what this could be. Ooh, looks like it's the Scarab. All right, not the best option, but also not the worst. Uh, here's the instruction. Also, here's the different models. You see they got the short. Uh, mid length and the uh, long barrel, so I think that's a advanced battle rifle recon something. I don't know, but it looks like we got the. I honestly can't even tell. Oh, I think it's the mid range. Long range would be there. Shorty will be there. So hey, another assault rifle. This thing is pretty cool. I'll make, an ex I'll make a video on each of these, just so uh, I can do proper research and really talk about each. Wow, this thing is hefty. Uh, kind of reminds me of like the um, SCAR or the um, ACR, the way that it feels. Not a big fan of this little detail. I think if they got rid of that, it would be a really pretty gun. Actually, you know, you put a suppressor all the way back here. And that would come in pretty sick. This is this is actually really heavy. Uh, high cap mag with a little adjuster thing. So as you see here, it's got this, um, I don't even know what to call this, I'll add it there. But, so that means the uh, it's front wired. Pretty cool. I think it also comes with the uh, MOSFET already installed, so programmed. Uh, we got ambidextrous controls. And ambidextrous, Mag release. Oh man. I really like they're coming up with that. And does this lock back? No, nope, maybe not. I mean it's got the thing for it, but I'm just not having luck. Anyway, oop, sorry, it's a full metal rotary style hop up as well. It's classic army, you know, good internals. This thing's nice. It's hefty. It feels really solid. I mean, the old unibody on here is does not get any kind of wiggle room. So uh, let's post. Uh, well, I'll be posting some shooting videos on that as well. So I believe this thing. Well, I think it's two hundred and fifty dollars plus the uh, grenade launcher, plus the pistol, plus the hat. 
I mean, I'll put the total up. I can't do it in my head right now because I don't have everything in front of me exactly. I don't know how much that grenade launcher and stuff is, but we'll see how it is. All right. So pretty cool, guys. My first set of uh, mystery boxes. I think they went really well. I like these options. Uh, this thing's awesome. The H and K is awesome. I may have a actual new field rifle coming in. We'll, we'll see if it ever comes in. But uh, yeah, so these might actually end up being loners. If not, I mean, I'd love to give this stuff away, guys. So, um, you know, just right now it's not really feasible. Uh, so, you know, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you can, share these videos. Um, and, you know, let's get this stuff in. I mean, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to get this stuff away. I don't need it. So, um, you know, let's get the channel up and running. Let's get it going. <clears throat> and uh, that's all I really got. Pretty cool stuff, man. Pretty cool. Like I said, I'll make an in-depth video on this thing. Um, definitely shoot it in this video and show you guys what a chrono is at. But, hey, that's it. That's everything, guys. That's pretty awesome. So I'll... Uh, Catch you guys later. Stay hydrated and call your hits. All right, guys. First, we're going to start off here with the 416. Uh, got the uh, mag here, high cap from the other one. I'm using an 11.1 battery. Uh, let's see how it does. Seems to be able to keep up pretty well. Let's see how it chronos. All right, for this baseline, I'm using 0.20 BBs uh, from Lancer Tactical, nothing too crazy. So, all right. 380, 376, 373, 72, 37. So between 370 and 380, Nothing too crazy, you see there. Pretty nice, it's consistent, 1.3 joules. There it is, that's the H&K 416 with 11.1. All right, now we got the Scarab. Uh, battery's front loaded, I didn't feel like bolting it. Uses these two bolt positions here uh, to take off the under rail, so I kind of inconvenient, so I just slap some duct or some electrical tape on it to do that so all right same deal got some two o's in here all right let's see how this chronos 406 398 402 403, 405. So, looks like it's bouncing. Actually, it's pretty consistent on the 400. 396 here and there, but uh, nothing too drastic. 404, yeah, 400 FPS with two O's. That uh, seems pretty right. And that's the uh, Scarab, the uh, classic army Scarab. All right, lastly, let's get the uh, Cybergun Colt 1911. Uh, green gas, it holds 14 rounds. And that's it. I like that, it feels really good, it's nice and heavy. That's it.